Today, we continue our mission. My name's Megan and I live and work here in South Korea and I have the goal to see and explore every city in South Korea so that when you come here too, you know exactly what cities you need to see for yourself and foods you have to try. Day two, we're here at our first stop, donuts. But they got garlic donuts, so I don't know how I feel about this, but I kind of want to try it. But I also don't want garlic to be like in my mouth the rest of the day, so I... We'll see. We'll see what I do. We are continuing to explore Yeongju, South Korea today. And let me tell you, I have never tried so many new foods in one day. Mom and dad, you should be proud. That's hot garlic. That's sweet potato, apple. We got more, more garlic. We went safe and we got a coconut. Is it okay? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yes, this is technically a donut, even though it looks like an oversized donut hole. I don't know why I look so angry when I bite things, but y'all. Wow. Coconut cream cheese. Wow, that's good. It's very like dense. It's so good. I learned two lessons today. I seriously love this donut and I look like an idiot when I bite things. <laughs> Actually, which one is this? I don't know. There's just red bean inside. I don't like red bean, but I thought I should try. Have you guys heard of red bean paste before? It's a filling that's popular here in Korea. Personally, I don't like it, but do you? It's not, not from Korea. It's not bad, but it kind of reminds me of McDonald's. It tastes fried, like French fries. Oh, I think maybe it's potato. It tastes like the, what is that called? Hash brown. That's what it's called. It tastes like a McDonald's hash brown. It's sweet potato. So that's where the potato-y taste comes from. But usually I feel like sweet potato does not taste like fried potato. Really? I trust you. I trust you. I believe you so much. I do. No, it's like a sandwich. Yeah, I can smell it. I can smell your sandwich. So garlic, monarch, oil but not in the morning. But it's good. It tastes like a sandwich. I like this. Okay, I'll put it in my pocket. Okay. So I was like, why is this donut? Why is the texture so different? It has like a much more sticky like consistency. Like the outside was nice and crispy, but the inside was like gooey. If you know tteokbokki, that's what the thicker noodle looking like thing is that's made of rice flour. So it gives it a much more like chewy, sticky texture. So it's like a tteok donut. That coconut one, I'm gonna go back, play it again in my head. That, that one was amazing. That, wow. Next, we headed to a ginseng market. And if you don't know anything about ginseng, it's a root that's often consumed here in Korea because it has a lot of health benefits, but I didn't know it could be carved and preserved in bottles like this. It's like art, it's beautiful. Anyways, let's go eat some more Korean food that honestly, most of the time I had no idea what I was eating but it was all delicious. And this restaurant's very authentic where you have to take your shoes off before you enter the dining area. And then all of the food you see is a preset menu that you share amongst a group of people and it's so cheap. You got more? They're using the turmeric. What's that? Turmeric pancake. Okay. I feel like you want to drop it. Is it skincare? Get <laughs> okay? You see? Yeah, they did drop it. <laughs> to this day, I still don't know what that is, so we'll just call it rubbery turmeric pancake. I dropped it in my soup, so there's more flavor. Honestly, it was the only thing I didn't like, actually, of the whole day. Of course I like it because it's fried. I'm American. I never eat salmon ever, but I'm gonna try now. Because why the heck not? I hate fish. Here we go. Why is it giving me barbecue chicken vibes? Like documentaries for like Discovery Channel and stuff. Like it tastes like Westerners chicken. Westerners would always say like it tastes like chicken for every mm -hmm. It tastes like barbecue chicken. Yeah, it tastes like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> chicken. They're like, my hard work and all you think about is chicken. Oh, try this. Chicken? Try. It tastes yeah, like... I tried it. I just oh, ate. You don't think it tastes like barbecue chicken? 
No, like, it's all punk. Like, it's okay. The, the audience does not agree, but. <laughs> I think it tastes like barbecue chicken. <laughs> I truly don't know what I'm eating, but it's great. And after trying every mysterious food on the table, and I mean all of them, I realized they made a grave mistake. <laughs> That's a joke. I thought this was the meal. This was the appetizer. He said there's no rice. Okay. It was at this moment he knew. I thought he was joking. He's serious. I'm not hungry anymore. On the But everything was delicious, even down to the rice, which had this grain called Joe in it. Didn't know that was a thing. We got this. You said it's sweet, cinnamony. It just seals the whole food together. It's aggressive, yeah. but it tastes like Christmas. It's like a Christmas apple cider. Actually, it's not bad. And as the rain began to fall, we headed to what seriously looked like Narnia if it was in Korea. This whole place is so stunning. We'll talk about it later. But first, I need to see how much I remembered from my Chinese calligraphy class. Because today we're trying Korean calligraphy. So with my Moon Bang Sa U with the ready, which that's the brush, ink, paper, and ink stone, I'm ready to start. So the first step is to make your ink, and that is just so satisfying. Once our ink is created, we take this paperweight, we put it on our paper so it doesn't move around as we're trying to write the hangul. And then our song sang nim or our teacher was kind enough to teach us how to hold the brush correctly, where we put our left hand. And by the time I blinked, the teacher had this whole masterpiece up on the board. He was so good. I mean, this is his job, but he was so good. So then when I'm over here trying myself, I'm like, oh, oh, oh mine don't look like that. But I guess my ink wasn't inky enough and I needed to keep rubbing the block around. Anyways, once we got a little bit inkier ink and I tried to think positively and not compare myself to the teacher who was creating masterpieces up on the board, Guys, I gave it my best shot. I gave it my best effort. And I think from this angle, it looks a little bit better, but no hate in the comment section because I already know. I suck, I suck. And now stuff gets super real and they give us these fancy fans that we were supposed to decorate. And I literally sat here for, I don't know how long, just like, I don't like but I knew I couldn't leave with a naked fan. So I tried to make this flower that he taught us how to make. And honestly, it just ended up looking like a sea creature. You know, my tentacles have seen better days. But... <laughs> it's artsy. None, <laughs> 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 It okay? Yes, like blood oh, infused yes, with like your that. soul. Yeah, and then it won't come off my hand. Or a little splatter paint action. I'm not actually do that. Yeah. On day, on day. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Did it get on you? I think so. Look at me. Is it on you? Is it? Oh, it's on your nose. Thank you. <laughs> Splash it. I guess I'll just stay here. I could go for this. Like... Oh, you go for the mole. My <laughs> <laughs> fan is so naked. I mean, it couldn't get any worse, so I might as well put something on it. Lotus flower? I should have known flowers were not my thing, but I still tried. <laughs> you said that my picture looks like a blooming onion. <laughs> I tried, okay? I tried. <laughs> I mean, it does, but... Put a blooming onion on the side? What if I do it smaller? Wow. Better? That's pretty. Better? Don't have high expectations? Yep. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. I feel so relaxed. It's blowing in the wind. <laughs> My dandelion <laughs> Oh, I can't do it. Dang it. Hold on. <laughs> See what I did there? Sadly, the weather is less than ideal. But this place, literally, this place feels like a movie set. A little bit of foreshadowing there, but we have made it to Seoul Su Seoul Won, which is a Confucian Academy. This tree got a mad body shape, though. Look at that curve. Wait for it. I feel like she's like, what's up? Shrug. Okay, anyway. Now we're headed to one of the actual classrooms at the academy, and I was able to finally put my bachelor's degree to use, and I was our faux teacher for the day to learn about how to respect your teacher in the classroom setting. I should show my bag to my master, so. Thank you, my master. Bali, Bali! Bali, Bali! 
The best way to describe this place is like a movie set. Oh, I almost fell. Cut. <laughs> but truly, this place is like, it's just stunning. Like just to come here to walk around. Oh, see, look at this moment. Random woman crossing the street, like holy aesthetics. Look at that. I wish it wasn't raining because these, the quality of this would be so much better if it was blue skies like it was yesterday. But we'll take it because it's definitely given a vibe. I love the rainy vibe. And as we continue to explore, I realized that there was a movie set. This is so cool. It's literally like a K-drama set. It's probably because I'm a theater nerd. So this is probably like one of my favorite things that we've done. And as I continue to explore by myself, imagining scenes being filmed around here. When I say that that fake man just scared the living daylights out of me. Y'all scared me. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh no. Oh, we're going back. That's in my nightmares. Guys, I'm such a scaredy cat, you have no idea. But on to very important things. You ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. <laughs> we are about to eat one of my favorite dishes in a very traditional style Korean restaurant where you sit on the floor, you take off your shoes. But meet jimdak, one of the best Korean foods in my opinion, hands down. And if you're wondering what this dish is, it's basically, oh my gosh, look at it. Noodles, chicken, and vegetables that are cooked and marinated in a Korean soy sauce. And by the way, if you ever don't want to get food on your clothing because maybe you don't love chopsticks or you're just a messy eater, you can just ask apchima to say, oh, which means can I have an apron, please? But honestly, most of the time they're hanging on the wall and you just grab them yourself. And now my foodie is showing. <laughs> Guys, I love food. And if I really love it, I dance. So clearly I really liked this meal, but I liked it too much because I ate way too much food. I thought maybe there'd be one human out there who's interested at how my makgeolli doing. So let's go get it. Makgeolli ASMR coming in three. Smelling a lot more like makgeolli, but also we got juices. Two, one. Oh, she's squishy. It's funny because yesterday it was so hard I mean, you can tell it got a lot mushier, which is like funny because it looked like yes, reflected onto myself. Yesterday, it looked like it was all dried up. Like we desperately needed to add water. She is porridgey today. The fact that I'm using a toothbrush. <laughs> you ferment, Makali. Yes. Get your ferment on. Hey, look at you fermentationing. Uh, None of these are English words. If you're studying English, these are not words. I'm making them up. It's only been a day. You're one day old. Will you get another Mockley update in a future video? Yes, you will. Does it have a happy ending? Spoiler alert. No, <laughs> no, it does not. But in the meantime, can you guess from any of these clips, what is the next city that I go to as I complete this mission of trying to see every city in South Korea? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you over there.